Many buildings use smart devices or automation like this motion sensor that is supposed to detect that I'm here and then set the door into motion. You can also use automation for things like locking the door for security at a certain time of night. But what happens if someone hacks the system? It is happening. Researchers say it's happened at least 20 times in the last year or so. This is how one of those cases went down. It's 6 a.m. at the office. Lights turn on, heaters warm the room, doors unlock, ready for a day of work. Ready until an attacker decides it's time for a long break. It was just a random Friday afternoon call. A technician called us that, uh, that his building was completely locked down and he couldn't operate the building anymore. For example, you couldn't control the light anymore. You could not control like heating and ventilation anymore. Uh, the shutters, it's a very essential functionality for a building, right? Felix and Peter launched the investigation to find out why the devices froze up and hopefully to bring the building back to life. This is how those devices come, right? They come in a nice case. Here, a motion sensor to turn on lights in a room. Another device to control ventilation, hundreds of them around the building. They're not saying where the building is located, just that a German engineering company contacted them for help with this issue. We open the cases very often. You have to destroy them to do so. But what you end up with is then the, the internal electronics. You can give these devices a special key, like an extra password, to keep attackers out. But in this case, they say, the attackers were the ones who set the key and locked out the real owners. We're very curious. Once we see a problem, we're very hooked, so we don't, don't give up. Peter and Felix tried brute forcing the devices, where they tried many different passwords to see if they could guess the key. But it was slow going. We did some, some math, and at the end, we had to say, well, if we continue with that, the brute forcing that will take for years. And it might be that they would be happy to access the building before that. So <laughs> that was obviously not the way to do it. Finally, they decided to try the needle in a haystack approach, going through all of the data in one of the devices to see if they could find a pattern that would reveal the eight character special key. We had a look at it under the microscope because it's very small. What are the parts where we most likely will find the key? At last, they found a key. Would it work? Actually had an online call together with the technician where we could remotely see his screen on the engineering software where he typed in our key. And fingers crossed. Uh, and at the end actually could see one component after the other, how it gets pre-programmed and is up and running again. So that was, that was a good moment. Lights on, heating and cooling in motion, and even a dentist's office in the building back in business. They have air pressure for the drill, like they used to drill in it into the teeth. The dentist couldn't operate anymore because the air pressure wasn't working anymore. You prepared this situation for weeks and finally you are there. And the dentist tells you, no, no. we cannot work. Yeah, it's, it's not funny. I mean, it, now the aftermath, it's funny, right? So it's a curious situation but it could actually lead to a very devastating situation. Peter and Felix say in this case, it's not the devices themselves that are vulnerable, it's that some people are connecting them to the internet without the proper protection. Then attackers are searching them up and taking them over, not holding them hostage, but just doing some sort of cyber vandalism, it looks like, or maybe practice for something bigger. So recommendations, what to do, the researchers say, do not connect the smart devices to the internet without protection like a firewall and or a VPN, a virtual private network. Also, if you have the option of a security key, you may want to set it before the attackers do. In Denmark, Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.